up you guys it's your girl lovely and i am back with another video if you don't know it already this will be the part two video of me making arch backdrops using foam board if you haven't seen that video already please pause this one and go over there and watch the part one then come back and watch this video to see how i dress the backdrops with balloons but without further ado let's get straight into this Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and also leave me some comments in the comment section below. And let me know what you think about this video. But let's get into it. So here are my two arch backdrops. One is a full arch and one is a half arch. And I made both of them using foam boards. I'm going to be covering those using my U backdrop fabric cover, which is double sided. One side is white and the other side is pink. If you ever purchase them, you can get both sides whatever color you want. Either it could be the same um, color or it could be two different colors. And here's how the backdrops look with the color. Isn't it beautiful already? And this is how the back look. I put a stand on both of the arches. If you'd like to see how I make the stands for these arch, then you can go and watch the part one of this video. Okay guys, so this is not really a balloon garland tutorial, but I am of course going to be telling you guys my little techniques that I use to achieve the look. Right now, I am inflating 11 inch pink and purple balloons. The brand, I don't remember. I will probably find it and put it in the description box below, so go ahead and check that out. So for my accents, I'm going to be using silver orbs. I'm using the 10 inch, I think. Yeah, I think this is 10 inch silver orb. And I'm going to show you how to inflate it because a lot of people do not know how to inflate these orbs. So just watch and see exactly how I inflate it. And tip, please never be afraid to inflate it all the way until you do not see any lines at all. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so my apologies, when I first started this, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But all I'm doing is taking quads of two and wrapping them around each other until I make a quad of eight. And then I'm using the neck of each, um, one neck out of each quad to tie it to another big quad of eight to make the garland. I'm not using no fishing line or any strings or anything like that. I'm just tying them by the neck and this is the technique that I like to use now for my garland. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I attach my garlands to the wall. I'm using this five pound command hook and a 260Q balloon. All I'm doing is tying the 260Q on the metal part of the command hook. And you'll see exactly how I do that. Now I'm going to attach it to the wall. I'm just removing the sticker and I'm also going to be using tape for extra security. You do not have to use tape, but you know, anything might happen. So for extra security, I like to use the black gorilla tape. And whenever you're um, attaching the sticker to the command hook, you have to hold down or press down for 20 to 30 seconds to ensure that it, um, it stays on the hook. That's what the instruction says and I can definitely say it makes a big difference when you press down and hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. I like to use a water balloon as weight to hold my garland down to the floor.
I'm going to be using these glue dots to attach my orbs to the garland. But you guys, I really want to know how you guys feel about these arch backdrops made out of foam board. Like, are you going to be trying it? And I just love the fact that for the covers, I can change it anytime. I don't have to worry about painting it. I could just throw whatever color, theme, however I want to customize. I could just get that and throw it over the arch walls for indoors and outdoor events. I just really want to know how you guys feel about it because for me, I love it and I'm going to be getting some more. Just leave me some comments in the comment section below. Give this video a big thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I drop a new video. But I'll definitely catch you all in my next upload. Bye!